good evening everyone i'd like to welcome you to the regular scheduled council meeting for two that or i'm sorry march 2nd 2020 at 7 p.m here at the new carlisle shelter house miss burner if you would call roll please mayor lowry here councilwoman hopkins here councilman Grimm. here councilwoman nowakowski here councilman cobb here councilwoman eggleston here vice mayor cook here seven members present Thank you very much. And if you'll stand, tonight's invocation will be by uh, local citizen Carol Bellhorn. Almighty God, we thank you for this chance to observe democracy in action. We thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed on this country. Thank you for the citizens attending this meeting this evening. We thank you for the council members who were elected by the citizens to govern us. Thank you for the city staff who runs the city on a day-to-day -day basis and for all the workers who are so committed to us. Thank you for our first responders who keep us safe. We ask that you would protect them and keep them safe. Amen. Thank you. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Starting off, we'll need actions on action on the regular scheduled uh, work session for February 18th, 2020. Make a motion, second. Second. There's an error. Who got the second on that? I haven't find it now. Mr. Mayor, who got the second on that? I believe it was Mr. Right. Cobb. Cobb was the first. first. I heard Eggleston and Grimm like at the same time, so I didn't know. Just flip a coin. Okay. <laughs> and she said there was an error. Yeah, she's got an error. session ones yeah we're on work session was it work session or main council i think it was in the work session this is the proceedings minutes and I don't think we can the agenda can't go on without doing it until we, we well we'd have to break rules of council to do it out of order do you remember about in the work session minutes? it was it was near the beginning and I, I was it a date or was it a misspelling or was it a topic error? it was a name it was a name so is it under roll call or or was it like a spelling of a name that was wrong? No, it was the wrong name. As is, okay. Was, was it where, um, towards the end where it has, I noted, Kroger and Springfield will be closing now, it's supposed to be you. Oh, that's right. That's what it was. 
It's down for Eggleston reporting on the Springfield closing on Kroger, and it, that was me. Okay, so I need to add Snowikowski. Snowikowski to the. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Can you just approve the changes now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so can I have a motion to amend approve and add? The, yeah, I need a motion to approve the change. So motion. Ms. Eggleston, Mr. Cook. Okay. All right. To approve the change, um, Vice Mayor Lowry. Yes. Or Mayor Lowry. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Councilwoman Hopkins. You've got a motion yes. on the floor. You can't continue to her motion. Well. We're amending. We're amending it. it. We're amending it. So you have to. You still got a motion on the floor. You can't have a second motion on top of the first. You motion. can. To yes. amend it, well, yes. we have to, to, amend. to amend it. To amend it, yes. 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 amend it, you can. Then we vote on the amendment, then on the motion. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to vote on the minutes when they're yes. wrong. You want to fix them, right? Okay, so we are back to Councilman Grimm. Yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? No. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. All right, so the amendment is accepted, six to one. Now we are voting on accepting the minutes of the work session. Correct. Okay, and my second was Eggleston. So Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Those minutes are accepted 7-0. All right, thank you. And then we'll need actions on, action on the minutes for the regular scheduled council meeting on February 18th, 2020. So motion. Second. Just say yes to the Council, any discussion? And when you're ready, please. Councilman Cobb? Yeah. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. Minutes accepted 7 0. Thank you very much. Let's see, and let's go to communications. No, let's see, manager's reports. Mr. Bridge. Good evening again. Good evening. For the third time. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of council, members of the public. I'd like to share with you the city manager report. Uh, since it is the first meeting of the month, we'll jump down to uh, item E, informational items. Uh, last budget work sessions, uh, just want to take a minute to talk about that. Um, one of the bullet points I had are just comments on the session. I say it, in the seven years I've been here is probably the absolute best one we had. So uh, thank you, Council, so much for the open and honest discussion. Uh, I think we got through a lot in that very long uh, time frame. Uh, but hopefully uh, all, all on Council, uh, too, agreed it was one of the better uh, budget work sessions. So I thank you for that. Um, uh, also, in, uh, underneath there, it says explanation of certain numbers. That is what I discussed in the budget work session under that particular appropriation measure, uh, that the under the general fund uh, that the Medicare was uh, miscalculated, and then also that we added additional funds into the police levy for the blitzes. So that would explain those numbers. Um, so moving on down the list, Tecumseh High School Career and Job Fair. Uh, fair. Uh, the city will be attending. That is Monday, March 16th, and is an all-day event from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. We are very excited to be there. Uh, so I will enlist some members of my staff to go along with me. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to split that time frame up. If I'm going to be there all day or I just kind of do a couple hours and another one goes a couple hours. But we'll, we'll figure that out here probably by the end of the week. But we are very excited to be a part of that job there. Um, also, my last uh, thing is says, please note, past couple weeks I've been focused on the budget and amending the CIP. So I really blocked off my schedule for, for about a week, week and a half. So as a result, there's not much to report on to the city manager for this particular meeting. There was all my extra time and all it was in for the budget and the CIP. So I will be happy to entertain any questions. Council, any questions for Mr. Bridge this evening? I don't have any questions, but I just, again, wanted to thank you for all your hard work and, and uh, the administration's put in on the budget. I know it's been a strenuous past few weeks. Well, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. We're just hoping it ain't a freight train, sir. Right. Just the regular old LED. <laughs> just the regular LED. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Dropping down to comments from members of the public. Anybody has any questions or comments, please go to the podium and give us your name and address if you have any questions or comments. 
All right, moving on, thank you. Committee reports none, we'll drop down to resolutions. Ms. Burner. All right, our first resolution, resolution 2020-05R, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on March 16th, 2020. A resolution amending resolution 19-19R, the capital improvement program for the city of New Carlisle, Ohio for additional capital purchases. Council? No. We don't, it's just read only tonight yeah. for that one. The resolution, oh, normally we introduce them. The CIP is one of the very few resolutions that we'll introduce and it has to sit for two weeks, very similar to the appropriations gotcha. that we do every year. My mistake. Sure. Moving on, resolution 2020-06R, introduction, public hearing and action tonight. A resolution permitting the city of New Carlisle to authorize the finance director to adjust the Security National Bank account for the purpose of eliminating accounting discrepancy. Council. So moved. Second. Is that Cook and Eggleston? Yes. Just give me one second. I am writing on this master file here. And an explanation of this ordinance, we discussed this in our budget work session two. We had switched accounting softwares uh, from SSI VIP, I mean SSI. From EGOV. EGOV to SSI VIP, same company, just their updated version. When we did that, we had noticed some uh, numbers not matching up, so we had the state auditors come in and help us find that, and also people from the um, actual software company, and also Ms. Watson uh, for numerous hours. Um, so we have uh, knocked that off to, it was an error from coming over to the new software. So in order to move the city forward, we do need to write that balance off, and then that way Ms. Watson can start with the next month find out if that number is okay, or if it's not okay, we have a very small window to look for that area versus a massive big one. But we did have a meeting with the auditors and council, so council is very aware of the situation. But in order to move forward, we had a quote from a <coughs> local government service agency to come in and f help us find that additional money, but it was gonna cost way more money to have them come in versus what we're actually off. So we just decided to put it in front of council to write that amount off and move forward. Thank you, sir. Council, any questions for Mr. Bridge? When you're ready, please. Okay. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Yeah. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Motion accepted, 7 0. Very much. And moving on when you're ready. Okay. Moving down to ordinances. We have ordinance 2020-10E, introduction, public hearing, and action tonight. An ordinance authorizing the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, to lease a portion of the city's waterworks property to the New Carlisle Baseball Softball Association Incorporated, an Ohio nonprofit corporation, and declaring an emergency. Council. So moved. Second. Ms. Eggleston. Eggleston. And an explanation of this ordinance, this is an emergency ordinance, so we'll need six affirmative votes other than just majority on council. Uh, but we uh, rent, a, we lease a, a, the Haddock's ball field <coughs> to the New Carlisle Baseball Association, and every three years we have to renew that lease, and that's why we're here today. Thank you. Council, any questions or comments? And when you're ready, please. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Since you assured us it won't affect their ability to sell concessions, I'll vote yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Motion accepted, 7 0. Okay. And moving on, the rest are read only this evening. Ordinance 2020-11, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on March 16th, 2020. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a purchase agreement with Stryker for a power load and cot system. Ordinance 2020-12, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on March 16th, 2020. An ordinance to establish appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the city of New Carlisle, state of Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2020. Ordinance 2020-13, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on March 16th, 2020. 
and ordinance employing a planning director. Would you like me to go on to other business? If you don't mind, please. Other business, Congressman Warren Davidson will hold his mobile office hours at the city building on the fourth Tuesday of each month from 1.30 p.m. until 2 p.m. The Crime Watch meeting will be held on March 11th at 6.30 p.m. here at Smith Park Shelter House. And do I have a motion or no, no we're good. Okay. Thank you. So uh, tonight we will go into an executive session to discuss the employment of a public employee and to discuss the purchase of real property. And then afterwards, we'll return to regular session, and I don't see any action being taken afterwards. No, no voting. So with that being said, uh, we need a motion to move to executive session. So moved. Mr. Grimm? Grimm is my first. I didn't hear a second. Second. Your seconds. <laughs> OK. <coughs> Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Uh, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. That motion is accepted 7-0. All right. We'll take five and we will go into executive session.